It was really cold November night, and I was freezing, and I was like, what are we doing, like, scraping lichens off of these trees? But then when you go into the lab and assess what you have, you get, like, a far deeper understanding of what, like, you actually have and what you actually collected. Because we had to, like, thoroughly investigate it through DNA. I've never done that before. I picked my own topic and got to, like, you know, get answers and find out things that I didn't know about. Well, the goal of our project was to identify two specific species of bacteria, um, Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium. We tested to see if veggie patties are actually 100% meat free. We wanted to uh, barcode or like find the sequences of the gut contents inside the snails to see whether this venomous apparatus, which is called the radula, affects their diets or not. In our project is the genetic variation of crab apples. It's actually a very versatile plant. My project is about how we can use the DNA barcoding of diatoms to determine the location of a victim when they drowned. What we wanted to do was through DNA barcoding to identify and analyze the presence of invasive species that are tolerant to this high level of pollution. And by determining the type of species in that area, we can determine whether the SO2 pollution in the area matches with the tolerance of the lichen. This is a little bit more advanced and more in-depth than we've ever gone. We have never barcoded before. <laughs> yeah. I think being able to handle the micropipettes, being able to run the gel, being able to do this in the first place was pretty gratifying. Well, laboratories that we do in class is very, um, like, we, got, we get a worksheet, we do whatever the worksheet tells us, but this is very independent and we get to collaborate with others and we actually get to choose what we do. We completely designed this procedure by ourselves and you know, we had materials and um, yeah, we had the help of our teacher. Basically showed us what's it, li what's it like to be a scientist and how scientists do what they do, you know? The entire aspect of being able to work on an actual research project really, that was probably my favorite part. We got to actually see the DNA on the gel. And looking at the results, it was interesting because it was like, you put in so much effort and now you finally get like an, a tangible answer kind of gives us experience into what we're probably going to end up be doing uh, later on in life if we end up going to grad school or even in our future jobs if we end up going into research. Because I feel like a scientist, like I know scientists do this stuff, so it's like I could look forward to it in the future. If I want to like be interested in this, I could look back and know that that's where, this is where I started from. I've learned so many valuable things just from like working with scientists in the lab and doing actual applied research I think will definitely help me. Well I was a little bit surprised. I didn't realize like how often a hypothesis can be not what you thought it would be. Um, and I also didn't realize like sometimes that can actually be better because like the fact that they are the same is actually actually makes it a lot easier for um, forensic analysts in the future and it also like it has better implications for future research. You know, it might sound surprising, but I actually really enjoyed writing in the papers because I realized that this scientific kind of writing is, you know, it's useful in so many topics. I, I couldn't believe I spent that much time on this project and I do, and I did really learn a lot from this project. I think this uh, teaches, teaches us uh, like uh, important parts of the scientific process and I guess it also teaches perseverance and you have to you have to really keep going and really keep trying. Scientific research is not as straightforward as you think, basically. Um, when we did this, we were independent. We went through challenges. We went through uh, achievements. And basically, there were things that were not were ambiguous at times. And we had to deal with that. And I like that we went through that lesson. Doing these kind of research will, of course, enhance our resume, but also um, you know, just let us explore deeper into this kind of field so that in the future when we pursue our careers, this is going to be one of the possibilities that we'll be, you know, keeping track of. Coming from uh, always loving science and always wanting to have a career in science, I learned so many. I can't even explain how much I learned. I learned a lot of things. The bonding experience. We felt that we created a really good team. Um, and that, that was my favorite part because it brought us together and like we're really good friends now because of this project. My favorite part was actually making the mistakes because I actually did learn a lot from that. It was heartbreaking sometimes like you know you put in like months of effort and then you get nothing. Yeah it was very frustrating just because you have to redo a significant amount of lab work and that's not very fun. I feel like that gave me a hands-on opportunity to see what it's like in the lab and after doing this I've decided that I wanted to go into research. Originally when I started talking to like my family and friends about science they all just said like do engineering, chemical engineering um, 
and I never thought about research before this experience, but now like I realized like definitely in the lab is where I want to be. Just having this knowledge, just having these this hands-on experience, especially going into the scientific field, you know, those biology labs, I'm gonna know what I'm doing and I'm gonna have a successful future knowing that I have this in my back pocket. Thank you.